Vaske? Vaske? Mm. Get up. Wake up. Step into the reality. This is my reality, CK. Couple of months, someone had made a big video. The decision to do away with the Vistram. What video? It just deleted. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah, I did away with the Vistram. But I did not say never going to buy a big motorcycle. What do you think? What were your expectations before you wrote this? What was different? What surprised you? Honestly, Baski, I thought this would be a big, intimidating motorcycle to ride, to handle and maneuver. But when I rode it, I'm flabbergasted. Ooh. None of these factors mattered to me when I slotted the vehicle into its first gear, let go of the clutch, and it was crazy. Seat height is crazy on paper. 870? Yeah. But you were able to flat foot. Even you were able to flat yeah, foot? Yeah, I was able to flat foot. When I saw the specs before the motorcycle came into the workshop, I said, oops, I'm not going to be able to ride it 875 mm. I'm going to struggle. So I'll probably go make a small turn around JP Nagar and park it back. <laughs> but when it got here, when I saw the motorcycle, I said, dang. That's something I can ride. Then I gingerly got onto it, put my foot down, and that sag was so beautiful as suspension. I was able to flat foot. Yeah. 226 kilos curb weight. Is it? With 80% fuel and all fluids. Yes. Didn't feel like 226. 226 kilos of Ducati weight is lesser than 215 kilos of my Suzuki V-Strom weight. <laughs> It is what it is. So you mean the Japanese kilos are more <laughs> than the Italian kilos, is it? Could be. <laughs> one kilo Japan made iron is heavier than one kilo of Italian made iron. Could be. <laughs> yeah, I, I get what you say. I feel what you say. Mass centralization. Yeah. Aluminium components. This is built with a purpose. I have ridden the Multistrada. I, I rode it for a week quite some time when I was in Norway and that's what I had in my mind a nice big comfy tourer I was curious to find out how different this was going to be to that very different <laughs> there is no comparison that's a different segment the multi is a different segment this is a different segment I don't know what segment this is this is probably the enduro uh, the real adventure mm. segment yeah, but Ducati says it's a mid-size adventure motorcycle. Mid-size adventure. Yeah. yeah, I think this is probably actually lives up to the true name of adventure because yeah. the name adventure is used a bit freely these days. Anything is an adventure. It can be. Nothing wrong. Yeah. But labeling a motorcycle as an adventure motorcycle has become too common. The specs on paper is what intimidated me. Yeah. Yes, of course, I considered a Ducati. Not to really buy, but curious. Always curious. So checking, oh wow, oh wow, oh desert X, oh wow, oh no, 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 226 kilos, no, 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 8, uh, 870 mm seat height, oh no, 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 I can't ride it. Uh, I think one needs to ride this motorcycle to actually know how different it is from the spec sheet to the street. It is far, far, far easier to ride and handle yeah. than I expected. I thought I would struggle here. The path up to this place we stayed, pretty narrow, a lot of mm. rocks and stones. And when we turned in there, I was on my scrambler. You were behind me and I said, Aha, now I got CK, he can't keep up with me. But after a while I realized you were almost riding pillion with me. So it can't be all skill, CK, it can't be all skill. It is to do with the motorcycle. Ah, I know, I know you're not that far ahead of me in terms of skill. The motorcycle makes you dance. <laughs> it makes you better than what you are. Yes, honestly, yes. It's like social media then. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is social media. It makes somebody a social. I can, I can look so fantastic mm. on this. I look like a great rider. 
if anyone is considering a ducati multi i would really tell them please take a test ride of this just ride this i think okay. there is no need to go into spec sheets no need to speak about anything else on this motorcycle no. it's just so minimalistic i think the greatest thing is the suspension and the greatest thing is the engine and the greatest thing is the handling and the greatest thing is the weight management and the seat uh, and the greatest thing about the motorcycle is the heat and the heat oh yeah that's something right that's the only thing which was actually a bit bothersome yeah it was throwing out a lot of heat a True. lot of heat oh i am but uh, for what it delivers in all other aspects i'll put up with that heat that is nothing dude if i can get this bike heat me and need i don't care about the heat i will ride it it is not for the faint hearted yeah you put it that way yeah there's a rally version bookings have opened yeah i saw it i saw it that's lighter than this uh it's supposedly lighter Uh, but you miss out on the tubeless rims because you get the XL Takasago rims on that more uh, off-road bias they are stronger they are much stronger although they are tube type yeah they are the tube type though and the seat height goes up to 910 mm i guess in the rally version oh, then that puts it out of uh, <laughs> this it, this was this is about right this is about right 870 mm was about right don't let the specs on paper fool you The sag is amazing. Swing a leg over, sit on it. It gets down to the ideal level. If anybody is considering a bigger motorcycle, my suggestion would be give this a try. Just give this a try. Most of you would be convinced. When I speak of bigger motorcycle, I'm talking of motorcycles 20 lakh plus or close to 20 lakhs and onward this is probably what 23 24 on road i yeah, have checked so 21 22 is what i th- think it is think it is okay whatever it's 18 19 19 lakhs ex showroom yeah so in bangalore it probably it will go up to 24 lakhs easily if that kind of budget is available you're looking at the tiger 8 uh, 900 africa twin in that category all i would say just give this a ride just try it out and then there is that intimidating desmo service oh yeah desmo service <laughs> which is going to cost 40000 rupees is it 40 yeah i think something on that range was be yeah. 30 to 40 30 40000 rupees yeah. every once in two years maybe 30000 kilometers say on an average couple once in two years most yeah. ri- on an average most riders would do once in two years 30000 kilometers yeah yes in one way you can say why should it be that much for a service looking at it the other way once in two years a motorcycle like this which delivers that kind of performance there's somewhere there's a trade off to be done uh, it's not justifying that investment or saying it is cheap or it is expensive that is the technology on this motorcycle which requires that service that is what it costs conclusion ck you have a very strong okay let me tell you what i where i stand today i gave away the 650 because i realized i was not using that motorcycle because i had the himalayan 450 the 450 what it delivered what it did where i could go with it was and the 650 vstrom what i did with it what i could do with it say they were about this much apart so now after selling the vstrom i know the 450 can kind of fill that that gap and if i'm going to get myself a big motorcycle it's not going to be in uh, other vstroms that 650s are you know cc also today is not so relevant but just to give an indication yeah. because any cc can be provide all kinds of performance and characteristics it's going to be a jump next time mm-hmm. it is going to be a jump and if i hit a lottery or i get an unexpected windfall of some money today right now where i am with what i know about the motorcycles available 10 out of 10 times i am going to pick up the desert x <laughs> there is no 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 there is no no argument period end of discussion matter close uh, there is nothing even comes close uh, any kind of consideration uh, that's it that's it i still remember baski 
when you got the desert x in your workshop the first message that you put out in the group you want me to read it out what did i put out you are right i'll get myself one some day <laughs> see <laughs> <laughs> okay i sold and i have built up a, a narrative that i don't want big bikes right now and if i do decide to buy one it's going to be this that's where i stand what about you ck where do you stand this has actually compounded the misery <laughs> honestly you are suffering yes. i can see tug of war between your wallet <laughs> <laughs> and your brain <laughs> the wallet empty bas ke <laughs> just as how the lake is empty my wallet is empty uh, to give some perspective you did say a year back or you always said hmm. you would give this we strom 5 years or so and then review how you enjoy that motorcycling of you know motorcycles yeah. of that size and that kind of a budget and then you may consider hmm. replacing and buying another motorcycle and from initial indications i think i know where you are headed this this is always tugged at me yeah yeah i saw it first time in when i was doing the lay near the padum ever since then i've been making mental notes but thanks to you got to ride the motorcycle thanks to ducati yeah. ducati to be precise oh that's how you say it yes that's how the italians say it okay ducati ducati don't say ducati okay it hurts my ear <laughs> <laughs> say ducati okay <laughs> i will try not <laughs> <laughs> so this is basically compounded and yeah, after riding this motorcycle it further reemphasizes on my thought process saying like yes you still have a regular income unlike me ck i need a lottery all you need is an emi <laughs> <laughs> no no bus ki i'm done with emi <laughs> see what this has done yeah. it has set me who had a narrative <laughs> that i don't need big motorcycles <laughs> now scratching my head did i make that statement too fast and did i put out that video unnecessarily <laughs> think about what i said and you a very rational a very methodical value for money am i getting the best value for money in terms of reliability uh, durability maintenance uh, going in for a japanese motorcycle two different approaches yeah both of us are considering buying this so i guess that says something about the desert x nothing more to add all i can say is ride it to believe it true theek okay? hai bas ke will you let me ride it a little more this time on the way back all yours thank you so much thank you